the Kardashev scale, measuring civilizations. In 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev asked, how do we measure the true power of a civilization, not by armies or money, but by energy? This became the Kardashev scale, a cosmic ladder of progress. Taipei's civilization controls all the energy of its home planet. Wind, sunlight, rivers, volcanoes, nothing wasted. Humanity isn't there yet. Today, we only use a fraction of Earth's power. In fact, scientists say we're at about 0.72 on the scale. Reaching Type 1 would mean endless clean energy, the ability to prevent natural disasters, and true mastery of our planet. Type 2. Civilization controls the energy of its entire star. Imagine a Dyson sphere, a megastructure capturing nearly all of the sun's output. To put it in perspective, humanity uses about 18 terawatts of energy today. The sun sends 173,000 terawatts to Earth every second. A type two civilization would have access to nearly all of it. With that power, they could terraform planets, build habitats for trillions, or even move entire worlds. Type the three. Civilization goes beyond imagination, harnessing the energy of a whole galaxy. Billions of stars, black holes, maybe even dark matter. Such a society could reshape galaxies, travel between stars with ease, and manipulate physics itself. To us, they would look almost godlike. So where are we? Still fragile, still burning fossil fuels, still learning. But the Kardashev scale gives us perspective. It shows the path ahead and reminds us that if other civilizations exist, some might already be far beyond us. Astronomers even search for unusual stars that could be partly covered by Dyson-like structures. For now, we remain at 0.72, but the ladder is waiting, and the only question is, will we climb it?